So how can I help you? Hi, yeah. Uh, so I need some help for uh, this. Um, I've been promoted in a new uh, position in my job, and uh, I'm looking for help to kind of uh, deliver better and, and kind of act a certain way. Okay. What what, co what company is this for? Um, well, I'm not sure how to say it. I mean, I, I work for the mafia. Okay, the mafia. Yes. It's funny, John Gotti was my neighbor growing up. <laughs> I need to be a bit more aggressive in my ways. Could you help me with that? Back in the day, we used to take whole sentences. You know, like, forget about it. I don't do anything for anybody. I'm not going to do it for you. And rearrange it to forget about it. I'm not looking off for nobody. I'm not looking for you. <laughs> but, you know... I, originally, I was supposed to be the young Joe Pesci in Goodfellas um, because I was there during the uh, Lufthansa heist. I wasn't part of it. I was too young. Um, but, you know, I was there and, and they loved the fact that it was based on my neighborhood. You know, the mafia is different these days. I don't know if you realize that. You know, um, not that I know anything about the mafia. I don't. The mafia doesn't exist. At least that's what I'm going to tell you. I recently played a, a mobster called Chicky Narducci. You know, he was much more quiet. You know, complacent. You know, but there's silence in, in this power in silence. You know, and maybe that's what you're looking to capture. Uh, I, I, I like that. I mean, that's interesting to me. I, um, I recently killed someone. All right, you know, don't, <laughs> is this, you know, uh, is this a joke? No, it's more like I'm just looking for some way to... I'm, I'm, I, it's hard to deal with, and I, I'm, I'm looking for the appropriate way to kind of, because uh, it kind of changes your status once you do that in my, in my business. I never killed anyone. I, uh, I mean, when I moved to Philly uh, about a year or two ago, I just bought a brand new Jeep, and what happened was. I, the first day I got the Jeep, I was driving and late at night getting used to the car. I had the roof off and, you know, I was just having fun. As I pull over, I see these two guys walking towards my car. I said, don't come near the car. Don't come near the car. Don't come near the car. And as they were coming near the car, so the guy reaching for his, uh, something out of his pocket, and he grabbed onto my window and put his hand on my steering wheel. I stepped on the gas while his hand was on my thing, and I went from zero to 60 in a matter of seconds, dragged him, you know, and uh, eventually two, three, four blocks, four blocks or so, he fell off, rolled about 100 feet, and I could care less. I don't know if he died, I don't know if he whatever, but, you know, I guess he was taught his lesson. You just put the words together, like forget about it, forget about it. You, know, you stretch the words, I don't get on for a I'm going to talk to you. Can I, tell, can I say it to you and you can tell me? Yeah. Okay, uh, forget about it. You know, in, in my past experiences, you just don't join the mafia. Like, I was supposed to coach Chaz Parmentieri in Shadow of My Father by John Downey Jr. Um, only because I knew him. Okay. But, uh, that was with John, that John Travolta, and you had to be Church of Scientology to be involved in anything John Travolta was in. You don't remember Paul Castellano? Uh, I heard, I heard, I hear that name a lot. But uh, I'm not sure, but I definitely hear yeah, that name. Working in a pizzeria in 84, 1984. You know, Peter uh, Gotti came in. And it's just, you got to meet him, get some muscle together. Meaning, you know, food, muscles. You know, within 10 minutes, uh, John Gotti walked in. 
you know, and he goes, I remember his words. You ever wonder what is about the people in your life? And a lot of work, our chosen profession, somebody gets out of line. They call in the enforcer. They do the job and they go home. That's what we do. That's what we do. I don't know if that helps. It's a, it's a certain feeling, a certain understanding. That's, that's what we do. That's what we do. Do you feel a change? We could maybe do this uh, regularly. Okay. Okay, great. All right, then let's talk Monday. Okay. Monday night. Monday night. Thank you so much. Bye-bye. Sure. All right. Hey, how are you, Phil? Hello. How's it going? Very good, very good. Just had an interesting day. Teaching all day, tired. Oh, damn. Okay, I feel like I should come clean. Uh, I should tell you that, uh, that's why I called you back, is that you know, I'm, I'm just a comic, and I was just, uh, I did prank call you the other day. I well, I know that already. You knew that the whole time? Yeah. Well, so why did you play no, I, along? You know, I, I, I've known murderers, I've coached murderers, I've coached in the prison system, I've coached the military. You didn't seem to mind it. It's fine. <laughs> I mean, how come you're indulging me? Okay, yeah. I was so surprised when you, you know, when you were playing along. Ah. That's what we do. <laughs> so you're interested in what, acting classes? No, I'm not. I'm, I'm, I'm not. I, 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 and I hate, to, I, 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 don't, I hope you don't think I wasted your time. I was, I, part of me wanted to keep going and pretend, you know, call you back as if I had legally killed someone and asked you for help and how to act a certain way, but I felt like it was not, it wasn't cool. So well, you know, I'm also a drama therapist. I coach people in the prison system, and I have coached murderers before. Okay. So, it's another day at the office for me. Teaching acting is a business. Okay. You, you want to check out my website and call me back? 